Hey there, Bulldog fans. It's Mark Minner with your update for the NCAA tournament. It's Friday, March 18th inside the Verizon Center. You're seeing right now the Bulldogs advance to take on the Pitt Panthers after taking down the ninth-seeded Old Dominion Monarchs 60-58 on the last second bucket by Matt Howard. Today was a day of practice and a day of interviews inside the Verizon Center. We're going to break the trend a little bit and not go with a one-minute update because we want to give you an extended chance to hear directly from the players and Coach Stevens on what they're thinking right now. Tons of different topics talked about in the locker room. We'll get you caught up with a bunch of different players and a bunch of different themes. First up, it's Coach Stevens. I think they're pretty realistic that, um, you know, if we revel in that one and we don't move on to the next one, uh, it'll be a short-lived tournament. And I think that uh, we're playing one of the best teams in the country, and um, and so we'll have to be on our A game to have a chance to win. I hope it's already away, and, and someone was asking me about it earlier, and, uh, or if I was thinking about it when I got up this morning, and, you know, it, it's it's past. It's uh, we, we started watching the film on Pittsburgh last night, so uh, you know we're already already moved past that and ready for the next game. Matt, what would a return to the Sweet 16 mean to you guys? I mean, it means quite a bit because you're still alive and still playing for national championship, and that's that's really all that matters at this point. Uh, you know, making sure that you're ready to go so that you don't have any regrets moving forward. <laughs> well, we know that when we have our fourth foul, we obviously have to play a lot more careful, and uh, that kind of play forces us to play harder because we know we can't just push and lean. We have to move our feet and be quick, which was obviously our goal from the beginning, so we wouldn't get in foul trouble, but unfortunately we did. So the main thing at that point is to move your feet, and with the foul trouble, that is what's forced, and so that's what happened. Does he ask you why it takes foul trouble for you to move your feet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, never ask me that. That's a question I ask myself, but I don't really know. <laughs> you got to have a lot of physical ability, but I think any guy on our team will tell you that uh, because of my knees, I can't jump very high. You know, I can't get off the floor very much. So um, in regards to me, it's, it's a lot of desire, and it's a lot of, you know, for, for good rebounds, you know, Kyle Marshall, Matt Howard, and Andrew Smith, the guys that really get a lot of rebounds. I mean, they have the ability, but there's a lot of desire. I mean, they go hard every time. That's the reason they rebound so I always remember him as being really big and really strong, so uh, to have gotten even bigger and stronger, I'm sure that's what he wanted to do and what the coaching staff wanted him to do, and he's he's always been big and tough, so I don't expect anything else from him. What have you seen from him on tape so far, just from following the pedigree? He really, he really does what I think they want him to do really well, and he rebounds and uh, sets really good screens, and he's ready. He's ready uh, if, if they call on him. And, you know, they do have a couple plays that I think they run to him. And, uh, you know, if you let him get an angle, he's going to score on him. He's just that big. And, and he's a tough player. Do you have good battles in high school? We had really good battles. I think any time you go up against somebody like that, you have to be ready to play. Uh, you know, that was, that was always my mindset. I want to be... Uh, you know, as tough as I could against him because, I mean, someone that big, if you let him get the ball closer, I'll score on it. Uh, rebounding and executing, uh, being tough, that's one of the top three things we're going to have to do. I mean, uh, I also get back on defense because they run transitions sometimes, so just got to be ready. I think, uh, you know, after we lost to Youngstown, that, that really hurt. Um, and, you know, we had to play Cleveland State the next game, so we had a big game. Um, and we still felt like we were in a position in the league to maybe win it, um, you know, maybe be in the top, maybe win it. So we came out and, and we played really, really well against Cleveland State. And, you know, I think we executed, executed really great that, that game. And ever since then, we've just kind of been clicking and, uh, we've been better to the ball. We've been better on the glass. Um, we've been better executing our stuff, and I think that game kind of started off. How'd you keep the faith after dropping three in a row? Like got two in overtime, then yeah. not a very not, not a very good game. No, I mean I think we have the guys in the soccer room that are, that do just that. That we stick together no matter what. And that's in a game. That's you know over the course of a year. Uh, you know that's with people doubting us. That's with people praising us. It doesn't matter. We just do what we do uh, regardless of the situation. Anytime you're playing in a tournament now, there's nothing a little bit physical left. Um, it's just the way it goes. And I thought ODU was the most physical team we've played this year and maybe in two years, uh, including our tournament run last year. And so I don't, you know, um, I think we're going to have to, we're going to have to prepare for, for even more tomorrow. Now Coach Stevens and the Mother Bulldogs will take on the Pitt Panthers, the one seat tomorrow night. That's Saturday night at 7.10 p.m. on TBS. The Mother Bulldogs, the eighth seed, the winner of that game, advances to the Sweet 16 in the southeast region, that's going to be played down in New Orleans next weekend. Winner of Kansas State and Wisconsin, the 5-4 matchup, which is going to be played 
Saturday night as well. So the winner of that game will take on the winner of Pitt Butler. Mark Minner here in Washington, D.C. with your Butler Tournament Update for March 18th.